According to an article released by the Polish business site Bankier, CD Projekt Red have three teams working on projects all related to the Cyberpunk 2077 universe. Originally, it was reported that the developer had three separate projects which included multiplayer. However, due to a translation error which caused a little confusion, CD Projekt Red cleared up some of these details, explaining that five teams are working on a few projects, three of which were concentrating on Cyberpunk 2077 development. Two of these teams are concentrating on the main game and another focusing on R&D technology. One team is focusing on the development of Gwent and another team is currently working on an unannounced mobile project. According to the article, we will have to wait until the beginning of next year for more details. A new IP was announced by Bandai Namco called Blue Protocol, which is being developed by Project Sky Blue with Bandai Namco Online and Bandai Namco Studios. Set in a world that will utilize overwhelming graphics along the lines of anime movies, according to their Japanese press release, which was translated by Gamatsu, the title will be running on Unreal Engine 4. The action RPG will have multiplayer gameplay that will incorporate elements of online games. Not much else has been shared apart from a vividly colorful screenshot of the world of Blue Protocol. This looks like a much brightly set action title compared to Bandai Namco's upcoming Code Vein, which releases in September. Although it has similarities with its anime type look, Code Vein follows a much darker universe and setting. No details of the release date has been announced, but it will be coming to the PC platform. Compile Heart has announced another dark entry for Death End Request, with brand new characters and story which was revealed by Famitsu, a narrative that will push the familiar feelings of fear and despair that the first installment delivered. Don't worry if you still haven't played the first title, as Death End Request 2 will be just as enjoyable even for those who didn't play the first Death End Request according to the developer. Death End Request 2 plot will be written by none other than Makoto Kidoin, the author of the first Death End game and Corpse Party, returning as the scenarist of the next title. Ki Nadameda will be the character designer much like the first Death End. Ki has also worked on several other compile games like Dragon Star Vanir, Fairy Fence of F, Advent Dark Force, Mugen Souls, Mugen Souls Z, and Trillion God of Destruction. Nintendo have announced that the upcoming Fire Emblem Three Houses will have an expansion pass, which will contain four post-launch DLCs. The Fire Emblem Three Houses expansion will be available post-launch for $24.99 and will come with a few free updates as well. The expansion pass will be downloadable content, which includes new maps, new costumes, and new playable characters, which will release between July 26 and April 30, 2020. A bundle is also available which includes expansion pass and the main game, which is available to pre-purchase from the Nintendo eShop for $84.98. By buying the expansion pass, players will have access to four waves of content as they are released, including Officers Academy outfits for both genders, Byleth main characters on launch day. The paid content will also include new storylines, additional playable characters, locations, and more. Publisher Focus Home Interactive and developer Spider Games have announced the release for the upcoming open-world RPG Greedfall. The story follows the settlers, mercenaries, and treasure hunters. On a mission to cure the homeland from a dangerous disease, you will be caught in the middle of a conflict between the settlers who are now invading and the locals who want to protect their mystical land and magical beings. The title sets to bring an open-world experience with quests and objectives which can be completed in a number of ways, including combat, diplomacy, stealth, and even deception. Greedfall, a fantasy RPG title, will be releasing for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on September 10th. Set in a world that combines supernatural beings, magic, and ancient secrets, the game is available to pre-order for $49.99. Launching on August 22nd is Black Desert for PlayStation 4. If you want to gain 48 hours early access and in-game items, you can now pre-order the Deluxe or Ultimate Edition. The fantasy MMORPG comes with highly detailed character customization tools, high action combat with monsters to slay, a huge open world to explore, and life skills such as crafting, hunting, fishing, and more. The story starts with the Blackstone, an energy source that has now created a war between the Republic of Klepthian and the Kingdom of Lencia. With the help of the Black Spirit, a being whose fate is a part of yours, you will discover the mysteries that lie in wait. The MMORPG has six playable classes, which include Warrior, Ranger, Sorceress, Berserker, Wizard, and Witch. Using a real-time combat system, you can experience abilities on the battlefield against mobs of enemies, including world bosses. Black Desert for PlayStation 4 releases on August 22nd. 
This week we got a new trailer for the anime Souls Like Code Vein, which features the Great Sword. Last week we got to see the introduction of the Code Vein boss successor of the Ribcage, which included a four armed wolf with plenty of moves. Now, a new trailer has been released featuring the two handed weapon, the Great Sword. While quite slow in its speed of attack, the Great Sword is seen in the trailer dealing some heavy damage, reaching a number of enemies at once with its range. Each strike knocks back the enemy a bit while you recover from its swing. There is also a few variations of swords shown demonstrating the weapon type. Code Vein will be releasing on PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC on September 27, 2019. The online RPG Dragon's Dogma Online is closing its doors in Japan at the end of the year after four years of operation. Dragon's Dogma Online never made it to the West, it remained a free-to-play title only available officially in Japan. It was an MMORPG that followed the success of the original action RPG Dragon's Dogma. However, after four years, Capcom have decided to call it quits and shut down the servers this December 5th. According to the website post, Capcom came to this decision due to it becoming difficult to continue offering satisfactory service. The developer will stop offering downloads for the game client on July 11th. Some fans are speculating by moving on from the online version, maybe Capcom are planning the next sequel of Dragon's Dogma. In an interview with VG247, game director Hideki Itsuno about a conversation with the founder of Capcom, Kenzo Tsujimoto, they had at one point talked about making Dragon's Dogma 2 when deciding on what to work on next. Ultimately, they ended up working on Devil May Cry 5, but that could mean it's a possibility. During Anime Expo 2019, Crystar received a new trailer showcasing the action RPG's characters. Crystar is an action RPG developed by Furu Corporation and published by Spike Chunsoft. The protagonist, Rei, known as the Warrior of Grief, fights her way through purgatory to rescue her little sister, Mirei, which she killed unintentionally. In order to revive Mirei, Rei strikes a deal with two demons to become an executor of purgatory. Crystar lets the player utilize the power of grief, craft weapons and armor using Rei's tears of anguish to further your strength on the quest to save Mirei. Crystar is due out for PlayStation 4 and PC via Steam on August 27th in North America and August 30th in Europe. Well that's it for the week in the wikis, please join us again next week for yet another great week of gaming. Remember to check out our VIP program for some exclusive supporter benefits and budding writers should take advantage of our Become an Author initiative. Thanks again for being part of this great community. Keep checking in with us with news, reviews, YouTube streams and vids and general wiki goodness.